Okay, here we go for the video of this audiobook. I was trying to replace it. I couldn't find the rest of it, so I bought it again. It was like four bucks. Get to learn about the past a little. And um, it's banged up a little, but it is brand new in the shrimp, shrink wrap. So we should look at this. Or well, maybe it's not brand new. I think it is. Whatever. It has to be. Why else would there be stuff on it still? Oh, I love it. I have to... This stuff comes right off compared to other stuff you try to open. Open from the top. You take out the two discs. Now, should I do a disc check on these? No. I don't know. Maybe I should. They're the same ones that I bought from before. Good. I told you I didn't want to make sh want to make sure I didn't buy the same um, different book again. So not again. I didn't do it yet. This is the first time trying. Okay. As you noticed, there's none on that side. It's one on this side. That's it. So there's seven all together. So when you buy audio books, this is what they look like when they're on CD. Unfortunately, not many people buy audio books anymore, which is a real rotten shame because there is a lot of down upsides to it. There's a lot of places you could go where there's going to be no internet. People are too dependent on the internet now. All right. Bye-bye.